Uh, we live in a day and age that's increasingly distant from the world or the values of the Bible. People stumble about a lot of things, the Bible says, understandably. We don't want to make their job any harder by forcing them to stumble over the English. I think all of us take pains to be aware of language changing, and particularly English, because now it's become a much more global language. That's what unifies us, and that, that's what makes our work exciting, is because we're trying to make sure that the Bible stays clear and accurate, but on the basis of good sound linguistics and good sound translation philosophy and translation theory. See, the way the NIV has gone about, particularly in the 2011 version, was really scientific. I mean, we had this Collins database of about 4.4 billion words and their usage. Gave us data about how people all over the world were using English in a variety of places. And it was that data that we were then able as translators to use and say, this is the English that people are speaking and that's what we need to use in our translation. The Collins database introduced a more objective way of looking at language. We're given a task under God to translate the Bible into contemporary English to the best of our ability, and we're going to keep on that road. It's been very encouraging to see the longevity of the NIV and this passing down from the original founders to the next generation and now to the leadership that we have now. I think it has to be an ongoing team, and it'll be good that there's new members coming in and the old members going out, so there's some continuity as well. I talk to a lot of people about the NIV, and the number one question actually is, why are you guys still working on it? As long as scholarship keeps improving, no translation is ever going to be perfect. They don't know that it's always been this ongoing thing. We're going to constantly be tweaking it, making it better. I think it's going to continue on the trajectory of becoming ever more precise and always in the language of the people, that's the philosophy. Yes, we have a mission to put God's Word into an English, a style of English, that will communicate broadly and accurately, used we trust by God and His Spirit ultimately to build His church and to bring people into His kingdom.